Welcome to the Lido Root Manual Standards Tutorial, Instrument Approach Charts, IAC. Lido Instrument Approach Charts have been specifically designed for airline pilots. These approach charts omit navigation details required only for general aviation. Due to this advantage, the chart's contents could be reduced to the needs required by commercial airlines. This eases pilots' handling during all approach phases. Lido Instrument Approach Charts were designed from the early beginning on in an integrated way to represent all relevant approach procedure details together with all approach briefing relevant data. This makes a separately added briefing box content needless. The instrument approach chart is designed as a two-scale instrument approach chart for the approach and landing phase at all airports. It contains detailed information about the instrument approach normally leading from the initial approach fix to the missed approach termination point. All instrument approach charts depict terrain and obstacle information significant for air navigation in order to minimize any possible risk for controlled flight into terrain. Where deemed useful for pilots, arrival transitions leading from the star endpoint to the initial approach fix may have been incorporated within the instrument approach chart. Let's have a closer look at the plan view of an instrument approach chart. The instrument approach chart shows the approach procedure designator within the Approach Procedure Designator box, which is located in the top right corner. This box shows besides the Procedure Designator, all procedure-relevant components required to fly the lateral part of the final approach together with their identifier and frequency. For all RNP types, the lower section of the Approach Procedure Designator box provides additionally the performance-based navigation details with navigation specification, navigation sensor, and functional requirements prescribed for the procedure. For RNP procedure types with localizer performance or localizer performance with vertical guidance, the approach procedure designator box will provide in addition the required satellite-based augmentation system information. Within the chart plan view itself, the relevant MSA is integrated into the two-scale and magnetic north-up oriented chart plan view. This feature has always been incorporated within LIDO instrument approach charts, as they are always georeferenced and therefore provide best referencing to depicted pr approach procedure and terrain obstacle hazards. The instrument approach chart displays all approach procedure relevant navigational aids and waypoints, together with all official minimum maximum procedure altitudes in the depicted area leading from the initial approach fix up to the missed approach termination point. The missed approach is visually separated from the instrument approach by a dark blue color to better differentiate it from the standard approach procedure. The missed approach procedure is shown in chart plan view from the missed approach point to the final missed approach endpoint. The topographical legend is always shown in the top left corner. Approach procedure relevant ATC frequencies are always shown within the green communication box located preferably at the upper chart border. Procedure relevant notes are embedded within the chart plan view. The airport elevation, together with the applicable procedure variation, is always shown in the lower left corner. The transition altitude level information is always given within the lower right corner of the chart plan view. Let's have a look at the profile view. The instrument approach chart profile contains a complete depiction of all profile relevant procedure data embedded within a two-scale profile leading from the intermediate approach altitude, latest starting at the final intercept, to the missed approach point. For all straight-in approach types, including non-precision approaches, the chart profile gives all approach data featuring a continuous descent final approach profile. The Lido instrument approach charts provides all procedure altitudes, such as intermediate approach altitude, descent point, final approach point or final approach fix, and subsequent additional procedure altitudes for cross-checking of flown profile on final, through outer marker or equivalent final fix down to the decision altitude or minimum descent altitude, which is required to perform a final approach for the respective runway. The lower gray part of the profile section shows all minimum obstacle clearance altitudes for the respective approach. Next to the profile information, a standardized description of the missed approach procedure is given. The ILS glide path will be shown in the profile section of an instrument approach chart, whereas a continuous descent approach slope 
or final approach profile angle, for a non-precision approach is shown next to the advisory distance altitude table located between the plan view and profile of the instrument approach chart. Next to the advisory distance altitude table, the chart itself provides on the right column all required information for the individual runway serving the approach. With its landing related information such as approach lighting system components, including Bozzi Poppy information, together with threshold elevation, slope data, and landing distance available. The missed approach details are color coded with a missed approach blue as used in the plan view to feature the LIDU color code concept. Top right, non precision approach procedure details, featuring a continuous final approach profile descend, are depicted within the distance altitude descent table. Starting at the final approach point, P, the final approach fix, F, or a LIDO calculated descent point, D, as featured by the FMS database coded profile down to the minimum descent altitude. Please note that the descent point is generated by the flight management computer. This position is not hard coded and therefore not visible as a waypoint or fix in the FMS database. Top left, all landing relevant data such as landing distance available, threshold displacement, runway width, all landing relevant lighting components including Bozzi and Poppy, with approach slope, threshold elevation, plus runway, and where available touchdown zone slope data are depicted. The lower section depicts all procedure altitudes together with the minimum obstacle clearance altitudes within the gray boxes underneath the procedure line from the final intercept to the missed approach point. The lower left section shows the missed approach description in a standardized format for easier and quicker reference to supplement the plan view depiction of the missed approach details leading from the missed approach point to the missed approach termination point. Underneath the speed time rate of descent table is given to ease piloting for descent planning between the outer marker or equivalent final fix and the missed approach point. Let's have a look at the minima section. The minima section of the instrument approach chart shows all procedure relevant lowest permissible landing minima for the approach depicted in the chart plan view. Minima for approach light out components will have to be derived from separate tables integrated within the rules and regulations section of the LIDO general part. As long as no state prescribed values are imposed by individual state authorities leading to different higher than standard minima. In a separate tutorial, we will illustrate how to obtain minima values for approach light element outages. But for now, let's have a closer look at the depicted minima section. The minima are depicted in their sequence starting from the best approach with the lowest landing minima possible at the left to the approach with the highest minima to the right. Decision altitudes, respectively minimum descent altitudes, are always depicted in bold. Please note that where CAT3B is possible, the CAT3A minima are emitted by intention. As long as the CAT3A approach is to be used with standard approach minima of down to 0 feet decision height and 200 meter RVR, in the US that's equivalent to 0 feet decision height and 700 feet RVR. Where higher minima have to be applied, these would be shown. Apply simply standard CAT3A minima as provided in your airline OMB or AOM for the respective aircraft operated. The next approach minimum depicted is CAT2 approach with decision height RVR and underneath radio altimeter value in bold. Thereafter CAT1 minima are shown followed by the non-precision minima for a localizer DME approach and here the minima for a secondary surveillance radar approach and finally the circling minima if used based on the depicted ILS approach procedure. Minima relevant notes will be shown as required always underneath within the remarks line of the minima box. Some charting vendors apply a briefing content box containing approach briefing relevant information. LIDO instrument approach charts don't need a briefing box section strip as all approach briefing relevant data are part of the LIDO instrument approach chart. That said, let's have a closer look at approach briefing relevant instrument approach chart data found on LIDO charts. The information found in a briefing box can be easily obtained following these steps, beginning from the upper section of a LIDO instrument approach chart and retrieving downwards. First, the airport and procedure identification. Then, procedure designator with components and frequencies required for final approach. This is the navigation setup. 
ATIS and required ATC frequencies for final approach. Communication setup. Final approach track. Aerodrome elevation. Runway landing distance available. Approach light system with classification. Threshold elevation. Missed approach description. And finally, final approach profile and minima related remarks. To obtain a full mental picture of the approach procedure, please retrieve the following additional and invaluable information. MSA, which is embedded within the procedure and terrain display in plan view. Approach and missed approach path with crossing altitudes. Procedure relevant notes in plan view. Transition level altitudes. Advisory descent altitude information for non-precision continuous descent final approaches. Vasi poppy angle. Runway width with information whether runway is grooved or not. Runway slope and where available touchdown zone slope information. Final approach angle. Procedure check altitudes and minima altitudes, missed approach point, and landing minima. LIDO instrument approach charts completely fulfill the requirements set by all airlines concerning data availability for approach briefing requirements and are more than fulfilling all ICAO, IASA, and FAA regulations and recommendations for instrument approach chart content and design. When you follow these steps, you most likely will have an overall better mental picture of the approach procedure and the environment you will be operating in. Please visit other Root Menu Standards tutorials for a more in-depth illustration. Mm -hmm.